It was only a matter of time for Hunga Tonga, and when the volcano blew, it blew big. An explosive plume that reached more than 50 kilometers above the earth. Much of the eruption was beneath the ocean surface, sending more than 40 million tons of water vapor high into the atmosphere. The seawater magma interaction shot everything up at very high velocity into the atmosphere and was one of the largest eruptions we've ever recorded with modern instrumentation. It was the biggest volcanic eruption since Mount Pinatubo in the Philippines more than 30 years ago. But Pinatubo was very different, ejecting ash that scientists believed would have a cooling effect on the earth. Those droplets will then form a haze blocking out some of the sun's rays. Indeed, when Pinatubo erupted in 1991, it spewed sulfur dioxide gas that spread over much of the planet. The particles deflected some of the sun's light and heat, cooling the earth by half a degree over the next year. Now in 2022, Hunga Tonga mostly blasted water vapor high into the stratosphere. Like other greenhouse gases, it trapped some of the heat in our atmosphere, causing a slight warming, an estimated few hundredths of a degree. Hunga Tonga may have increased the Earth's surface temperature this year only slightly, but however small, the lead researcher says every decimal point counts as the planet warms. Those two or three hundredths of a degree that Tonga added um, temporarily do matter, and they do take us that fraction closer to one and a half degrees, and, and that's important because of because of the importance of that temperature threshold. Normally, ash from the biggest volcanoes provide temporary relief from the sun's intensity. But with Hunga Tonga last year, it was the opposite. Water vapor trapped more heat. We need to monitor each of these volcanoes very closely because they're all different in slight ways that have big uh, implications for the differences in their effects on our climate. Volcanic eruptions are an unavoidable part of the natural world. And compared with the influence that humans have on climate, the impact of volcanoes is small and temporary. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.